Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Zach, and today I just wanted to share my new YouTube studio with you. I wanted to show you the new direction that I wanted to take the channel as well. Alright folks, so let's get started. Alright guys, this is the main workstation that I wanted to show you here. So, we've got ourselves a Ducky Gunmetal Shine 7. We've got a Kensington Trackball Mouse. There are three different disk drives. There's two Blu-ray drives and one DVD drive. They're all plugged into this USB hub and cable managed a little haphazardly. I'm also using this Logitech camera. I also have another webcam here. The main computer itself is a pretty interesting PC. It has two Intel Xeon E52687 W V4 processors, 128 gigs of ECC RAM, as well as two NVMEs and an NVIDIA RTX uh, A2000 and a USB Type-C card there for the webcam and the front peripherals. Um, up next, I'm just going to show you going down the room. We've got a wide variety of tools and other cables and other things that I might need for a computer building and whatnot. There's random decorations on the wall as well. We also have ourselves capture cards, RAM, there's a Nintendo Switch that I built a custom shell. Well, built it in the custom shell, I should say. Uh, there's more RAM, more random stuff here, graphics cards. All of these are things that we could potentially be testing with Linux. Um, unfortunately, this is a dead graphics card. Long live the R9 290. This one, however, is an old ATI 5450 I was able to resurrect with a different CPU cooler and a knock to a fan on it. Um, over here, there's various uh, processors, LGA 2011, LGA 775, uh, new Ryzen 7000 series CPU as well. Over here, this is the Linux test bench. So this is going to be where I will be testing all of our Linux distributions and software with real hardware. We're not going to be using any virtualization or anything of that nature. Um, it's going to all be done on real hardware. And I'll be utilizing capture cards to uh, showcase that. So if it's a Gen 2 guide, or if it is a Linux distribution review or installation, then we will be using real hardware for it. No virtual machines, unless we're making a video about virtual machines, then we'll be making them on this. Um, right now we're just running Pharonix Test Suite Unigen Heaven for some benchmarking, but moving on, we've got some random other things here like soldering stuff. Uh, this is going to be used as a camera in some cases. It's an old Galaxy cell phone. Um, over here you could call this a bit of the home lab. We have a Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, the Raspberry Pi 4 itself is currently running um, Ubuntu server with Casa OS on top of that and it's just running a few Docker images like um, sync thing and we've also got a uh, pie hole as well. <clears throat> um, and you might notice there's multiple other computers and cases of parts of computers, but right now these are the only operational ones. Uh, the test bench itself has uh, 32 gigs of RAM, a uh, GTX 1650. It also has um, an Intel Xeon E52699 V3. That's an 18 core processor. Uh, 36 threads, and it's also running quad-channel RAM, but due to its older age, the RAM's only running at 2133 megahertz. Um, this is an ASRock X99 Extreme 4 motherboard and an 850-watt power supply. I figured this would be a perfect test bench for Linux because this is still a very powerful platform, but it's actually not even capable of running the latest version of Windows 11, so... This is old hardware, but still good. Perfect for Linux. Uh, the one complaint I have about the actual test bench chassis is they put zero thought into cable management on an open-air test bench. Could you believe that? Um, we also have ourselves a small Ducky 1-2 uh, Mini here with uh, GNOME keys instead of the Windows keys. And the last part I wanted to show you is it's not the prettiest, but across this room we actually have a minor form of sound deadening, which I was able to do with uh, egg crates. 
So the egg crates should help with uh, echo cancellation in this room at least a little bit. And it should be a lot better than any sounds before. Uh, the last issues that we still need to uh, cross before we're ready to start recording full time is we need to address our lighting situation. I plan to get a couple of uh, tube lights to go across the room. And then the next step is going to be to find a way to quiet down this computer. Uh, with this Wanninger motherboard that I'm using, there is unfortunately no fan control for anything but the two CPU um, headers. So currently that's the issue we're running into, but otherwise I believe I'm pretty much ready to start recording and start testing out various pieces of hardware and software and get them live on the channel for you guys to enjoy. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the studio. We're going to be making a lot more content. I'm going to try to get videos uploaded every uh, week or two. Uh, we're going to do things like Linux installations, Gen 2 guides, and we're also going to take a look at real hardware and see how that works with Linux on a real test bench. So stay tuned guys. Enjoy. Until next time, I'm Zach and this is Linux with me.